Okay, welcome to my second tutorial. This tutorial is going to go in depth to Windows 10, Windows 8, and how to install the edited driver files in that environment. Uh, Windows 10 and Windows 8 prevent you from installing drivers that are not digitally signed properly. So what we have to do is we have to restart Windows, but you have to hold down the shift key while hitting restart. Because if you don't do that, it won't bring up this next menu that we're going to see. So now we're going to select troubleshooting or troubleshoot. That'll bring us to another menu. Okay, we're going to select advanced options. We're going to go up to startup settings. And it's just telling you what you're going to be able to select. We're going to hit restart. Now this, at this point it's asking you to select a number for the option you want to select. We're going to disable driver signature enforcement which is number 7. So we're going to press that on our keyboard. Now Windows is going to restart with driver enforcement disabled. Now when you reboot your machine after we make the modifications it puts the security settings back to normal. Okay, so now that we're in Windows 10, we're going to log in. I have just downloaded the SC10 files from the link I provided. I did update it. It now includes the Android uh, driver file with the SD10 Plus hardware codes already in it. Now make sure that your device is on and it's in USB debugging mode. Um, it has to be in that to be able to see it in the device manager. Mm. Now using Windows button and then pressing X, that brings up this menu. We're going to go into device manager. And there's our ST10 just waiting for us to get it working. So we're going to update the driver file just like we did in the, in the video. We're going to search for, you know, we're going to select the driver ourselves. But in Windows 10, we need to select it from a list, okay? Uh, because it doesn't, it doesn't allow us to do it the way the tutorial did it. So we're going to select it from a list. Just double click on show all devices. What that will do is show nothing. We're going to go to clicking the button have disk. If you noticed earlier, I copied the location of where the driver files are, so we're going to paste that in. In the video, uh, the previous tutorial, it was the Android Composite ADB interface. So we're going to select that. I'm going to hit Next. Okay, it's warning us that this is not the right way of doing it. <laughs> Now this is the part that wouldn't show up if you did not tell it to allow unsigned drivers. We're going to say install the driver because we know we edited it or you're going to use the one that I edited and we're all set. It installed the composite, you know, the ADB interface. So now what we can do is we can test it to make sure that we can communicate with it. Okay, we're just going to run command CMD. We're going to change to the desktop, because that's where I left it this time, SD10 files, ADB. Now we're just going to run the ADB command with devices at the end of it. And what we're looking for is it to return a device number. And there you go. Uh, so now you can continue from the previous tutorial. Uh, this does work in Windows 8. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd really appreciate it. Happy hacking.